What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this uh, warm Tuesday. As a matter of fact, you know the snow is melting around here. But I'm hearing that uh, we're supposed to get this uh, devastating uh, blizzard or whatever. Uh, so I guess it's all melting just to be replaced with like 10 to 15 inches of more snow. So I don't know how that's you know going to work out, but we'll see. <laughs> That's the way we live in over here right now, okay? Look, uh, I wanted to do this video right here because, uh, you know, uh, Biden, he made a statement back here, I think it was last year. Yeah, it was last year when he said that we are coming for your guns. In other words, to take your guns. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, shouted over my dead body and all of that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? But see, they come up with all these different legislations, you know what I'm saying, uh, slick little legislations, and understand that no criminal is going to go for this kind of thing right here, period, that they're trying to just force on um, American people, you know, law-abiding citizens that carry, you know, uh, guns, all right, that's what it boils down to. Now, to get into this story right here, San Jose votes to be first U.S. city to mandate gun liability insurance. Who's going to pay gun liability insurance? You know what I mean? I mean, here we go with that ugly ass word, mandate. That word don't register to me. You understand? <laughs> and uh, I'm saying this too. The fact that, you know, San Jose is doing this, you can, re you can rest assured that this is going to spread throughout the entire U.S., okay? But it's going to only be as successful as those who go for it, right? Now, it says here, San Jose, California, uh, Reuters, that's where this uh, story comes from, I guess. Uh, no, Short News Network. Anyway, gun owners in San Jose, California will be required to carry insurance coverage for their weapons and pay an annual harm reduction fee under a newly approved city ordinance believed to be the first of its kind in the United States. The measure backed on a 8-3 to three vote on Tuesday night by the city council for the state's third most populous um, municipality yeah, brought an immediate court challenge from national gun rights advocates. Um, the bill is subject to a final reading by the council next month, a step considered largely uh, perfunctory. Guess that's what that word is. Yeah, perfunctory. Um, before it becomes law, once passed, it will take an effect in August. Okay. See, this is what I'm saying. They testing waters with this bill right here. That's all it boils down to. And if it's successful... And people actually, you know, go for this. Rest assured that it's going to be spreading throughout the United States like wildfire. All right. Now to continue, before Tuesday, even before Tuesday's approval, the ordinance was singled out by gun rights proponents as a new flashpoint in the national debate between advocates for tougher firearms regulations and those for the U.S., Constitution's Second Amendment, right to keep and bear arms. The measure would require city residents owning guns to obtain special liability insurance covering losses and damages stemming from negligent or accidental use of their weapons. All right. But see, this is my question. Where's the average everyday criminal that's going to participate with this shit? It's them that's doing a lot of this stuff that they're you want insurance on, and the law-abiding citizens are paying for, basically. You know? <laughs> this ain't gonna make it, all right? To continue, city gun owners would also have to pay a small annual fee uh, earmarked for evidence-based harm reduction programs aimed at reducing gun violence, suicide, domestic abuse, and other firearm-related risk. The city said in a statement explaining the bill, we are seeing an epidemic of violence and harm from the use of guns in cities throughout the country, and San Jose is no exception, Mayor Sam Licardo told Reuters in an interview on Wednesday. We are tired of waiting for Congress to act. 
okay? Um, San Jose, in the heart of California's Silicon Valley, south of San Francisco, is the first U.S. municipality to adopt such an ordinance, he said. Opponents said they feared the measure could set a precedent for other cities. See what I mean? This is what they want to do, okay? To continue, the vote to approve the measure was immediately condemned by gun rights groups as infringing the Second Amendment rights. The Colorado-based National Association of Gun Rights and its legal, well, excuse me, and its legal arm said on Wednesday it had filed suit in federal court in San Jose seeking to block the measure's enforcement as an unconstitutional tax on gun ownership. And I, I'm, I believe that. I, you know, I agree with that, okay? Uh, to continue, to tax a constitutional right is absolutely preposterous and place an undue burden on law-abiding gun owners, Associated President Dudley Brown said in a statement. You know, I, I agree with old Dudley Brown. That shit, this ain't cool, man. It ain't right, okay? Uh, the California Rifle and Pistol Association said on Twitter that it was preparing a legal challenge calling the ordinance an unconstitutional measure that criminals would ignore. Like I said, that's what I say. I said the same thing. Ain't nobody, the criminal ain't paying attention to this shit right here. They just not, okay? Um, it goes on to say the bill supporters cited a 2021 study finding that San Jose taxpayers subsidized private gun ownership by 151 annually per gun owning household or 40 million a year totaled through calls of police and emergency response to firearm related violence okay uh, the second amendment absolutely protects the rights of americans to own and possess guns but it doesn't require that taxpayers subsidize that right Ricardo said according to the giffords law center to prevent gun violence some 36,000 americans or more die by firearms every year or about a hundred a day okay okay well here's my question you know um to the police departments will they be subjected to this 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 uh bill as well you understand i mean i've seen so much as a matter of fact let me show you guys something now this is a situation i was talking about a uh, man killed in hell of bullets fired by nine cops on nashville interstate okay uh they come across this man that was sitting on a guardrail you understand and uh you know a couple cops pulled over you know to question him for whatever reason and i guess the guy got kind of irate you understand and then all of a sudden you go what you're gonna see here is like these cops just come walking up with all these guns you know like nine of them you know what I'm saying? And the man is going to make a threatening gesture, basically. And he's going to get shot down dead. Now, the thing is, is this. He didn't have a weapon. So my question is this. Would this fall under, you know, the insurance that they want American, you know, uh, taxpayers, you know, law-abiding citizens, you know, to follow? Would this insurance, would police have to be liable for situations like this? Check this out. All that firepower for one man, you know? This is ridiculous. Warning, this will be a bit graphic, just so you know. Look at this. SWAT, basically, for one man. <laughs> sick, sick, sick. 
So you see what I mean. You understand? Will this apply for the most? I mean, for for uh, the, the most of the uh, police officers that's in this country that is so trigger happy. You understand? To where you know they uh, basically shoot first and ask questions later. Okay. Let's finish this story. Uh, says here. The United States leads high-income countries in gun violence, according to, I mean, according for 9% of all firearms homicides globally, even with 4% of the world's population while also processing, well, yeah, possessing more civilian-owned guns, 393 million than any comparable nation, the Giffords Law Center said. Reporting by Steve Gorman in Los Angeles. Additional reporting by Keith Kaufman in Denver. Um, Brenda O'Brien in Chicago. And uh, Creedy Sherma in um, Bengalura. Editing by Timothy. Oh, Heritage and all that. Okay, that got nothing to do with the rest of this story. It's over with. But, all right. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. You know, I don't agree, you know, with this particular mandate that San Jose is trying to, uh, you know, put on their um, state. I just don't agree with it. City, whatever you want to call it. Gun liability insurance. You know, number one, criminals are not going to pay it. Number two, neither is police officers. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.